Okay, I've got it back on the porch, and I've cheated a little bit. I cleaned it up a few minutes ago with a magic brush here just to prevent recontaminating anything I'm going to clean. I'm going to pull this guy off. You all know what it is. That's your choke. That's your heater. Probably won't have to take these off, but my main prize is going to be under here and under here just to make sure my jets are clean and nothing's all clogged up. So let's do that. And I also cheated. I made sure I could get these bolts out, or screws out rather. Sometimes they can be a real pickle. Don't use a cheap screwdriver for God's sakes. Use the right size screwdriver. These things are as soft as warm butter. And you strip them up, you're going to have a bad day. Anyway, let's start at the top and work our way down. Take this little guy off. This is our diaphragm cover. And under it will be a spring. It's not going to go flying. It's I have a super ton of pressure on it. So take it off. Guess I lied a little bit. That nah, wasn't too bad. That's clean. Set spring. And your diaphragm. I'm just going to push him up from inside the carb here and gently break this loose. You don't want to tear this either. Then you're going to have a bad day. Because you will be ordering one of these at who knows what that cost. Take that out. Just make sure that's clean. Your best friend is going to be some paper towels. Just wipe this guy down. He looks in really good shape. So, not too disappointed here. So, just make sure he's good so he'll slide do what he was designed to do. This one apparently has a little spring tension under it. That's different. Yeah, he looks like he's in good shape, so we'll set him aside on a clean paper towel, because we are here to clean things. The inside looks pretty decent. I don't see anything unusual. So, we'll flip her over and go for the bottom. This is your drain. For if you decide to drain this out first, you unscrew that guy right there. It lets the gas out. But I ain't too worried about it. It all spilled out when I carried it up here. So Take these four screws off. And once again, I can't stress how soft these screws are on every carburetor I've ever taken apart. So, you have been warned. Right size screwdriver. If you do strip them out, you usually got enough room around to grab on each side with a pair of vice grips, crack them loose. But let's just use the right size screwdriver and save ourselves that bit of heartache, shall we? Yes, we shall, because I told you so. These four Phillips head screws come out. We'll set these over here. And this just comes right off. Ta-da! And you know what? It doesn't look that bad in here. It doesn't look that bad at all. There's some gunk. Nothing too horrible. You want to take this guy out gently because we're going to use carb cleaner. And carb cleaner hates rubber. And we love rubber. This doesn't look in all that good shape, to be honest. But I don't have another one, so I'll be reusing it regardless. We'll clean that up and uh, reuse it. And, like I said, this looks in pretty good shape. This is your accelerator pump which I suspect is clogged on this one because it just doesn't have the get up and go off the line that it should. So you can test it by pushing on it and, oh, look at that. It actually works just fine. The pump does. Now the passage it goes through may be clogged. We'll find out here in just a minute if that is the case. 
Anyway, that seems to be working okay. If it's not, you can take it apart here. There's a bolt here and don't know what size it is. But uh, maybe we'll do that too. Maybe we won't. We'll find out. Anyway, set this side. Here are our prizes. This is the main jet and at your idle jet. We will be removing those and cleaning them up. We may remove the float. It doesn't look like too much of a pain in the butt, which it kind of does. We'll see. Anyway. Don't know what this guy does for a living, but he's pretty cool looking. Yes, I know I'm authority on this, and uh, anyway, we're going to remove the jets and check them out and see what they look like. For that, we will need a flat flathead that fits in here, and this one doesn't. I may have to put you on pause and go get one. I thought this one would fit. You want a good fitting one, same reason, it's brass, it's softer than hell, and if you muck that up, it's going to suck. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back, take three. There we go. Right size screwdriver worked. I didn't use the right size, and I'll show you what I did. Just unscrew this guy. And I don't know if you can see this, but I buggered that up and I was barely twisting. Not did any permanent damage, but you know, still sucks. Anyway, you want to hold that up to light and see if you can see through it. I'm gonna do that. Doesn't look too bad. I was hoping it'd be more clogged up. Anyway, second best friend, carbon choke cleaner. So we're gonna give this guy a little bit of spray down there. The spray up in there. And we'll take out the idle. Again, right tools, right job. And you shall come out. This is your idle. You got little tiny holes in it. And a little hole at the end. Same deal. We're going to hold it up to the light and see if we can see through it. And not so much. This one's got a little gunk in it. These little side ones look fine, but the main passage looks like it could be a little clogged up, so we're going to give him a little shot of penicillin here. Probably should use rubber gloves when you do this. Do as I say, not as I do. And... Let's look about getting this float out of here, just for the fun of it. Just so you know how to do it. Looks like there's a pin going through it. I don't know if it's... When it goes in one direction, usually there's a big flat head on it. So we'll try pushing it out here. I don't know if it's there. Um, it definitely has to come out. So we shall give it some love taps. Probably a little punch would work better than this setup, but... In fact, any setup would probably work better than this. Do. Let's do 
maybe. Put these jets aside or I'll lose them. In fact, I tell you what, I'm gonna put them in this little lid. Yeah. The whole deal just a, a bath. How's that look, huh? That's pretty clever, I thought. Let those guys soak in that. Get the old palm olive treatment. Another jump cut coming up. I'm going to go get something to knock that guy the rest of the way out. And something to grab hold of it, pull it out, and we'll have a look at the float. Take four. All right. Try this little guy here. Here I am telling you people to use the right tools, and here I am jacking around with uh, the wrong tools. A little punch. Knocked it right out of the park. There's a pin. Don't bend it, even though this thing looks beefy as can be compared to others. I don't think you'll bend it, but second thing is don't break these little ears off. That would suck. Anyway, this is your float. Guess what it does for a living, kids? That's right, it floats. It floats in gasoline. And Make sure that old rubber guy's in good shape and it looks in really good shape. Don't clean this with carb cleaner. It's got a rubber tip. Rubber and carb cleaner, they don't get along. It looks clean. If it's not clean, just wipe it down. Check your float. This is a plastic float. And you must make sure there is no gas inside. There's no holes. These look in good shape, so we shall not fool with them. We'll set them aside. Don't put carb cleaner on this. This is plastic. Guess what else carb cleaner does mean things to? Plastic. So set those aside. Right. Takes care of that. And we shall uh, do, do, do. Don't worry about getting carb cleaner on this since I've told you all the nasty things that carb cleaner can do to ruin your day. So, I have no idea what's behind door number one, so let's find out together. Make sure both of them break loose. Rather well. I'm going to hold this down with my finger. I don't know if there's springs under here or what manner of witchcraft the Italians have in store for me. Set these screws somewhere else. Okay, nothing too bad. I'm gonna set this aside over with those screws. It looks like we have a rubber gasket in here. This heater is pretty well sealed up. I'm not too fretful about getting carb. I'll just try to avoid it because I don't want to take that off. I just feel lazy. I know it'll come back to bite me. Anyhow, let's get crazy with some carb cleaner. So, I 
Okay, you've browbeat me into it. I'm going to uh, remove the accelerator pump. And I'm going to use an adjustable. I don't normally approve of that, but yeah, it'll be okay. It looks like it's a 10 millimeter. That just screwed right out, no biggie. It's not in there crazy tight. There is a spring under here that gives it a spring action, so unscrew it slowly. And out comes the plunger, and there should be a little spring in there. Man, that looks just like a ballpoint pen spring. You could probably uh, rig that if you needed to, if you lost it. Anyway, I'm going to give that a little drink. that soap. Okay, that soaked pretty good. Get another little douse here. About to run out of carb cleaner, so ta-da! Too clean. Oh goodness, look at that thing! Oh god, that one means business right there. Oh look at that! Should have started with him to begin with. Oh, now we're cooking with gas here. clean my toothbrush off. It was in my mouth this morning. I will not be reusing this. Anyway, we're going to clean up our gasket mating surfaces. So this goes back together and shall be leak free. It's in here. Some of these can really gunk up. Give that a good brushing now. And your third best friend on this whole endeavor. Compressed air. Whew. Wouldn't do it without it. Clean out all your little passageways here. Wear eye protection, because you'll shoot it down in here, and it's going to come flying out of here. Go in your eyes. You're going to be blind. You're going to blame me. That idiot on YouTube blinded me. Well, I told you to wear safety glasses and point it away from your face. Air is absolutely free. Same goes for these passages. here make sure to get it it looks like it has a removable jet but I don't think it'll be necessary to take him out I'm just gonna give him a real good spray down hell that actually might be the passage for the 
Accelerator pump. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not feeling a whole lot. Did you not air is cheap? <clears throat> Anything big and crunchy. Just give it a little light scraping. Looks like this gasket. I've seen better days. It's left quite a bit of residue behind. If any sense I'd replace it, but yeah. You haven't gathered by now. There's not a whole lot of sense here. So. Returned the tiny flathead here, slotted. This looks like it's going to put up any kind of fight. I'm, I'm not going to fight with it. No, I'm just going to end up stripping it, so I'm not going to fool with it. Kind of buggered it up a little bit, so. I've just decided not to take it out. Make sure that But I did get a bread tie and I removed the skin from it. And I'm just gonna poke it in that little hole. Look at there. Looks like I need a little bit more skinned off of it, so just paper. Look at that. Stick him up in there. I don't normally recommend jamming things into these. This is the exception to the rule, kids. That's why I couldn't feel it. Let me explain. Pretend that, see that little jet there? So I'm trying to clean out. Pretend that that's it. It's a long jet, but it doesn't squirt out the top. It squirts out of the side. I was feeling for air at the top. It's shooting it out that away. Out that away. So, stupid me. 
let's uh, I'm gonna bend this around backwards like a little U, and see if I can't get that in a little tiny hole. Wouldn't that be cool? Looks like it would be cool, but it ain't gonna be cool. By the way, I thought this video would be like 12 minutes long. I just did a uh, Yamaha Vino and it took me like no time to do. It was almost criminally short. Should have shot that one and just pretended I knew what was going on. This works, I'll let you know. There's no secrets. If it doesn't work, I'll let you know that too. So far, it's not. So far, it's a big old bust. <laughs> I'm gonna try to look down into there to see if I can get this wire in there. This hole might be that small. This might be that small. Pray the carb gods it all this carb cleaner is gonna be magically delicious in there. I am going to see if I can see it come out now that I know what that thing does for a living. A little compressed air. Yeah, I did it. So if that clogs up on you, you got a real headache because you can't get it out without destroying it. I hope I didn't destroy it. Let's see that brass is softer than a prom queen's thighs. So I need this piece of brass getting caught up in here. Goodness, would that suck? sense to me either. It's done, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> it's not like we're doing open heart surgery inside of a carburetor, right? I know. Oh, but it must be clean and perfect. The petrol gods will frown upon us all. It's going to get everybody will wipe out of here now and then we'll put this back together. Now I'll debate whether this has gone on long enough to show you putting it back in the bike or, you know, just taking the cheap, easy way out and say, assembly is the same, but in reverse order. What do you think? I think that'll fly. I don't know. We'll see. Running out of daylight, too. Kind of sucks. I wanted to ride this thing. Let's see if it had any improvements. See if this is all just academic. One more hit with the compressed air. I swear that'll be the last. funny if none of this was actually in frame because see I set like magic markers here I set wrenches down so I know what in shot out of shot I don't know. be funny if none of this made it into the video
Anyway, let's put it together. Enough of this bull crap. We shall start with the jets. Crap, we've not even cleaned the jets yet. Why aren't you people helping me out here, huh? Same deal. Compressed air into the hole. No wires, nothing fancy. God's sakes, keep a... That is either the world's tightest idle jet. Normally, I said I'd discourage you jamming things into your jets, but this one just seems really tight. It just must be really tight. out, point it in a direction you're going to be able to recover in case it slips out of your hand. And Good lord, who knows how far that thing will fly if you didn't. Main jet looks good and clean. one goes where? Uh, 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 no. Oh yeah, that's where it goes. It goes right there. And this one goes here. Don't cross thread it. Don't really need to tell you not to cross thread it. Well, it would be nice to put it in the right hole, wouldn't it? It goes in there, doesn't it? Don't cross thread it. Well, there has to be threads to have it cross threaded. Anyway. Snug is the key. Not crazy tight. Tighten it down and give it a little. Uh, you're done. Same with this guy. I really get that out of the way in there tight. Hand wow, well there, I'm good. Snug. Not crazy tight. Okay. Uh, good enough. This crunchy crap that is all over this it is just nasty. I know, I know. I said not to do it, but I just got to. I can't put it in there dirty. Don't tell anybody I did this. Probably better off using Windex or anything but carb cleaner. Doesn't look like that really helped, to be honest. I just took a iffy gasket and just... <laughs> really screwed the pooch on it. What is that stuff? It almost looks like dirt. I tend to go inside and just wash this off. Tell you the truth. I might just do that. I mean, just look at it. It just looks filthy. What the hell is that? Don't pull on it. Don't tug on it. It's still plenty spongy. The more I do this, the more I don't think this is going to make it on the internet. Anyway. So it goes, you got a tab here, and you got this little loop thing that goes around there, so you can't really screw this up too bad. It only goes in one way. Just tuck him down in there. I hope that holds. Okay. And let's put the accelerator pump in. Just put your see little spring just goes on. Did we clean this? No, we didn't, did we? Let's get it all clean. I mean, it looks clean, but you know, for the sake of saying so. Anyway, little tiny big spring there. I'll be a monkey's uncle if that's not what that is. Oh, this goes down in there. To 
again, 10 millimeter, just snug it. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now, am I forgetting anything down in there, kids? flow. <laughs> anyway, we get the float in there. Take said float and your little floaty there. You slip him on there and you just hit the whole mess in place. Nothing extremely complicated about that. Take your pen Said float. Because it's in upside down. <laughs> I'm testing you, and you guys just let me do it once again. No help, no help from the peanut gallery. So I'm drive that back out. Come out a lot easier than it went in. Guys are worthless. Anyway, take your float. Maybe I'll edit that out. What do you think? Look at that. Amazing how things fit when you put them in right side up. <laughs> Battery's probably dead on this. Neighbors think I'm talking to myself. That's yeah, okay. Crazy Tim's down the street talking to himself. didn't leave you high and dry. Went and put some charge on it. And uh, I uh, just hated the way that gasket looked. So I took it inside and cleaned it. A little bit of dishwashing liquid. It helped. But if yours looks like this, replace it. Can't be that much. It's actually a Japanese carb, so it's probably a pretty common part. Anyway where we were oh I got the pan in it just took a couple good wax I know it looked like a damn monkey humping a football whenever I was hitting out with a screwdriver and another screwdriver but God I didn't want to hit it with anything too heavy and snap one of those ears off so anyway now you can probably put a little bit of goo on there to hold it in place but I'm just going to set the car down on top of that so I uh, don't lose my gasket so just like this everything's in there right hmm yeah I thought so too anyway, just set that down on there nice and easy I hold it with my thumb I don't know which screws were they these screws or those screws? Eh, it's the long ones. Holding that with my thumb to make sure that gasket doesn't move. I'll get this one just to hold it in place. Make me sleep better at night.
crisscross pattern here for the most part. Snug everybody down at first. Then we'll give it the, the beans. I'll tell the story why I'm actually doing this. I know I said that there's some performance problems, some cold start issues, but over the weekend I had a drag race, ET150 versus a Yamaha Vino 125, and that 125 blew the doors off of this Vespa. I know you Vespa purists don't want to hear it, but that Yamaha ate it alive in every category. So I was hoping to take this apart and this thing would just be so grimy that it would make me sick. And then I would clean it up and then go back and eat that vino, a new one. But there was some dunk, gunk, grime. I think I cleaned out the accelerator pump, which will help me get off the line a little quicker. But i tell you the truth, that thing ate it. Ate alive from zero to forty. It just there was there was no match. After forty, it did some catching up, but until then, it just it was it was almost a little sad. It made me weep a little bit. Just knew that that one twenty five was gonna get skunked. And you know what? It didn't. It didn't stand a chance. Anyway, we're going to put this in. We cleaned our little needle off. This looks in really good shape. No tears, no perforations. And just slide him in his little home there. See that little notch? Matches up with this notch. Just twist him around in there and just get him in his little home here. And seat that all. This one will pretty much stay put. Once again, you got that little notch. Goes where that little notch is. So you don't get this on backwards. Hold it down my thumb. Oh, man. Hope you guys are learning from me today. Don't forget this. Good God, don't forget that. you have a terrible day if you forget that. I sure wish I was the type of person that wasn't lazy enough to edit all these goofs out, but eh, you'll get to see them all. If you have any parts left over, odds are you did it wrong. Especially giant springs, gaskets, floats, everything else I've tried to leave out. No, I've not forgot the choke, so, you know, cut me a break. It's still sitting over there. We're going to get to him. I hope you guys can hear my neighbors yelling at his three-year-old kid over there. Like it's an adult and knows what it's doing. Child Protective Services. Take me away. Snug them. Don't kill them. They didn't do anything to you, so don't go bananas on it. Now we're going to put this little gasket back in it. I thought it had a notch. Guess not. You only can pretty much go one way. You got these two little guys close together and you got that far apart one. So we'll just sit him on there. And he's got that same kind of garbage on him. I don't know what that stuff is. Clean up this mating service. I'm not going to put any carb cleaner on there because of the plastic here. I'm just going to assume this all worked because whenever you start it, the choke went on and off properly. So. I'm going to assume that it's okay. And how did it go on? Did it go like that? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna set these two screws over here, not to mix them up, even though they look way big, so I don't think you could goof this reassembly up unless you're me. So we'll cinch you down. Looks like we're almost done. Still debating whether to film re 
assembly of the uh, bike. It's kind of getting dark. We'll see. Anyway, put these guys in. Snug them down. Parts left over. That is one reassembled carburetor. I know there's some Vespa mechanic that just laughed his ass off. That one dude, uh, they call him Robot. Some Vespa dealer guy. He's probably just like giggling. Giggling, giggling. Anyway, that's how your accelerator pump, whenever you first hit your throttle, pushes that little plunger down and it squirts a little bit of extra gas to give it that it needs to get going that's all it does in the life that's it it's that little and it squirts out that little guy god none of this is in frame has it squirts out of that little guy there and just gives you that little extra get up and go you need that's all it does heater choke i'll see you back down oh this little guy my little homemade thing a doozer goes where does it go where does it go it goes on this side it goes right here and then your overfill or not your your drain goes back on there there was no clamps on that so don't sweat it just route that down and away from the bike when you're done ta-da all right let's go to that bike and get this done